Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to a new video. And today, I want to start off by speaking about something that isn't FIFA related. My mic. Yep. If you've questioned, does this audio sound a little bit scuffed? It did. But today, it should sound a lot better, but not perfect. Well, I hope it is perfect, but if it isn't, I will play around with a few of the settings and make sure it's back to normal very, very soon. But you wait until you see the team that I've put together. It is a monstrous build. We have gone and purchased one of the best cards on the game and maybe the best centre-back for me. Well, he's the best centre-back on the game. 99 rated team of the season Virgil van Dijk. But is he going to be better than Rio Ferdinand, Ramos... Well, really just those two, because uh, I don't really like anyone else. I'm really picky when it comes to defenders. But what I did is I sold Rio because I played over 220 games with the card. And that's a lot for one guy. We know he's good. He's tried and tested. Let's move on. Zambrata, we had for one weekend, but I needed chemistry. I needed a strong link into De Jong. So Zambrata has been sold. We used the extra coins to go and purchase a few other cards. And human Sun boys, I'm telling you, I haven't been playing very well on the game and it would have been a caca situation all over again. Although I'm not promising like a massive rank this weekend, I know for sure that if I was using Sun, he would be holding me back. I, I, I can't get on with his dribbling. I don't like him on the game. And have you really seen too many people use the regular versions of Sun or at Inform or anything like that? Not really. So, human Sun out and we've used the coins to upgrade our attack. And Di Maria, 490, and the rest you would have seen. But I've got a couple of packs to go and open. Uh, the Premier League is obviously going out of packs at 6 p.m., but the La Liga has been put in, and guess who's got a team of the season? It's a re release, right? Oh, go on. Maybe a blue to start off today's episode? It is a team of the season, De Jong. All right, so if you've got the team of the year, don't panic. Obviously, he's going to drop a little bit, but if he goes under a million coins, I think that is a bargain buy. You have to purchase him for that. He's going to rebound. The good thing about him being put back into packs is that I would rather get a De Jong than really a Premier League player, or obviously like Virgil van Dijk and stuff, but there aren't really too many that I would personally want to use, which is um, surprising because it's the Premier League is the most popular, but I'm going to be grinding those upgrade packs for De Jong. I really, really want to get my hands on him, boys. I've got so many duplicates right now. What's happening? Maybe I can do a Premier League one before I go and show you this starting 11. But the Young in a pack, another million coins freed up. Hey. But yeah, a few of the players that um, are a little bit of uh, a question mark, I'd say, over their heads. You've got Salah. Uh, Felipe Anderson, obviously, like, with the team that we had last weekend, it was serious meta. And I don't want to restrict the squad building to the point where it gets boring. And there's only really a few five-star weak-footed attackers that are, like, that good for me. So if I'm so focused in bringing those cards in, I mean, I'm never going to try out any of the other team of the season. So it's really, really boring. With this, I've got a five-star weak-footed attacker in Cruyff, and then all the other cards are just very good. And they should be all right on their left foot or right foot. Um, we, we have to put it to the test. And that's the fun of it, right? I haven't really been playing too many games. We're going to jump into the weekend league straight away. Fingers crossed we play well or we're going to get battered. But let me show you this team first. And then at the end of the episode, I'll probably put some of those untradeable Premier League cards into uh, a couple of those packs. But what do you think about this, boys? Come on, be honest. That is looking absolutely fantastic the chemistry links the team the players like that is really one of the best sides like the best looking sides that of bill now this virgil van dyke right he is not cheap two million three hundred and fifty three thousand coins and i know you're gonna say yo that's a lot of money to be spending on one player yeah i know i know but i paid 1.7 million for rio ferdinand and you pay for what you get so if he is better than Rio, I don't mind that so much. I struggle defensively, and Virgil has been brought in to plug that gap. The defending, physical, dribbling, reactions, like, that looks like the best centre-back. And then with Semedo, we've repurchased for 205,000. Why not get some chemistry? I don't think he's going to get into the team of the season, but if he does then I'll just purchase him with the leftover coins, and that would be amazing to try out. Henderson is, is like... I don't know if he's really going to work for me, but the price and his stats, 
I think it's a bargain. Like 523,000, he basically looks like uh, another version of Calvin Phillips who came out originally at a million coins. So half price, Henderson, high tie work rate, six foot, why not bring him in with those kind of stats and please play well? That's all that I can ask. Salah is another new purchase for us to uh, give a go. 1,116,000. And I can't see how he's going to be bad. You've got perfect shooting, perfect dribbling, really good strength and aggression. And then that pace running down the line, supporting the play. And then with Felipe Anderson, I have used him once before. And I wanted to make sure that I bring in someone that has a decent shot, good on the ball and he's going to be playing in that middle cam position with his 90 stamina and the interceptions dropping back breaking up the play that could be really really nice so the team is ready 4-2-3-1 haven't played a game for a couple of days well it feels like that anyway so I'm off form we've got weekly games let's jump into the deep end boys and play am I nervous no and maybe that's a bad thing right or is it a good thing I don't know how I feel, but that team there looks like an objective squad. Maybe he's made a mistake. Hopefully he has. Or not. I don't know. I need a win. The first game with our juiced up squad in the weekend league on a new patch. And I haven't been playing well. Like, I just haven't. I, I, I don't know why. But surely the first few games in the weekend league are going to be a little bit easier. Or I'm going to get battered. I have no idea. Come on, Salah. I really need Salah to be stepping up, though. Henderson tracking back. Come on. Well played. De Jong has to carry the midfield now. Essien is no longer here. And Henderson really is just going to anchor it. I, I don't want him pushing on as much. Uh, Ramos, has it changed my tactics? No, no, not yet. Oh, no. I don't think I switched him around. Damn, I, I, I forgot to switch Ramos. I'm going to have to do that at halftime or something. No, no. Do that now. Virgil. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go. I know you guys in the comment section are going to be like, oh my God, Virgil made one tackle. Fuj, best center back on the game. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just going to say, right, that felt quite secure. Like really secure. Stepping up at the right time. Oh. Um, am I offside? Yeah. What, what are we doing, boys? Why are we running away from each other? I do miss Di Maria, though, already. Oh, Di Maria, come back. No, I don't want to just use the same players. It's just stupid. I want to test out and see if I can get good with some of these cards. And Cruyff, the game changer. Beautiful. My captain. Is he? Or have they given it to Virgil? Say, so, They've given it to Virgil. I'm dehydrated. <laughs> oh, get all the excuses out early. That, that's really what you want to do. And then if you have a poor weekend, he runs. That, oh, that's dirty. Winners, takers. Mohamed Salah. Step up to the plate. Are you ready, Salah? First goal for the club. Just a, just a little cheeky technique. Right there, boys. You know how it is. You can't save him. Salah, well done. Good acceleration, though, on the edge of the box. He felt quick there. And that was a terrible tackle. Go on, Salah. I want to get Salah into the plate a little bit more. Like, get him down the line. That's more like it. Go on, Salah. Fake shot boost on the inside. <laughs> What is this guy doing? Well, okay. Same thing applies. Oh, you lost... No, I, I lost connection to my opponent. Yeah, I've been getting some weird DCs lately. I uh, better not get any this weekend. That does seem uh, quite a nice squad. I know you're going to be laughing at like Sterling and Suzoko. Mendy. So it's Samedo playing as my center back. Well, he's great anywhere. Let's be honest. His tackling is really clean. And for a player that isn't an icon or an icon moments, it's pretty damn impressive. Uh, I'm loving him already. Welcome back, Tomato. My favorite, I think he is my favorite right back on the game. Here. Oh, finish that. Oh, no. Virgil. Virgil van Dijk. Do you know what he's doing, boys, for me? He's sticking to them like glue. He really, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. You know how I was saying in the first game, um, you guys are going to take it out of like context and, and make out like I've said he's the best center back on the game after one match. I think he's the best center back on the game. I'm, I'm not joking. Oh my god, he's, he feels so secure. I love him right now. Yo, Salah, can you cut inside, please? I want to get use out of this shot. Oh, it's Philippe, Philippe Anderson. I thought it was Salah. All right, fair enough. Yeah, his left foot isn't bad, you know. That's going to be going through. Virgil. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, that has just showed me that he is 
outstanding. He's lost out uh, to Zaha, right? And Zaha is not that weak. Well, that version probably is. But he still managed to clutch up. Oh, wow. I did the boost by accident. I think I'm going to tell De Jong to be on balance. And that should help me out a little bit more. Water ball from Salah. Around the corner. No, the dribbling on Philippe Anderson. Come on. He's got to be feeling better in that situation. Oh, that's a dirty... F oh, it's a red. And it's another rage quill. I was about to say, that is a dirty foul. I couldn't find the second goal. I think Philippe Anderson in this middle cam position... Uh, so far, all of the other players are doing well. He's a good card, and he, and he got a goal. But is he linking up the play properly with the other cards? Mm. Game three of the weekend league. Oh, wow. That is a very nice team. Different set of players in there. And Diddy as well, SBC. Is he going to be playing it around? Henderson? No, that's a great ball already. What an interception from Ramos! What are you doing, Van der Sar? You absolute fraud. Uh, you've been let off, though, because it hasn't gone in. Oh, Mane's pace dot on the wing. Come on. We've got to use that to our advantage. I feel like this is where people are open right now on the breaks. Like, seriously. They've juiced it up. Go on. Little flick. Yes. Lovely play. He's there again, boys. My captain. The EA took away from him for some reason. I don't know why they did that. Oh, look at that press on possession loss. And it's just opening him up on this counter-attack for Mohamed Salah. Mo Salah. Philippe Anderson. Wow. Um, you took... That was your fault, Philippe Anderson. It was your fault. You took so long to get that shot out for some reason. Do you think it's his reaction stat, maybe, that's low? And it affected him in that position? Probably. Oh, come on. We've got to be a little bit quicker, though. What the hell? Why am I so open? Why? Why was I so open? Another one. I'm just literally doing the same thing over and over again. Maybe he'll get bored after all and stop chasing me down. Oh my god, I can't believe what I'm doing. Yo, stop it then. Stop it. Stop blocking it. There you go. Eventually it got through. Oh, Virgil? Oh, oh Cruyff? Whoa, that spin from Cruyff there. And he kept his composure. Talk about balance that. It's only 80, but he's so good with it. Only 2-1 up, and it's another rage quit. Mental, three in a row. But I want to check his goal. Because I look at the defense, right? Look, 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 look. Can, can I see a better view of the pitch? Can I see a better view? Yeah, look at that. Look at the distance between Virgil van Dijk and Ramos. In my opinion, for full width, that is huge. And I wonder if EA have played around with the settings. So it's not as compact. Well, I'm going back to three. Because that's crazy. That's too open, man. I prefer to defend from the mid and then out. And that's not doing that. That did scare me. Having Virgil and Ramos so separated. Dear, oh dear. I'm so used to having my players compact. And then I throw my fullbacks out on the wings to defend. So have EA played around with how compact your team will be? Hmm, maybe, maybe. I thought it was just me playing poorly. Maybe that's what they really have changed. But you'll see a variety of goals, though, being scored through balls, maybe over the tops. It could be better for the game. But a breakdown of some of the new players that we've been using. Salah, he feels fast, good on the ball. What I want him to do, though, a little bit more, is get involved. And I might play around with a cut-inside tactic, so then when I'm legging it down the line with Mane, he is going to make that drifting run into the middle, Comes onto the ball and then hits it first time to the left. That's what I want him to do. Felipe Anderson, uh, question mark over him whether or not uh, he's perfect for what I want. But I'm just so used to Di Maria playing with that five-star weak foot. So it's going to take some time to adjust to him. Henderson seems solid defensively. Good positioning. Just maybe a little bit slow on the track back. But I'll just tell him to stay back. So he's there ready to defend. And this Virgil van Dijk boys. He is the real deal. So far, I mean... He is defending really well. He's locking into the challenge. He feels really quick as well to jockey and just so strong. Very, very nice. I, I, I do feel secure. Even with this new patch, I feel secure with him for sure. When I take control and I'm closing people down, he is going to come away with it. Now, I was going to do, right, uh, a Premier League four-player upgrade, but it appears that they've got rid of it, uh, which kind of sucks. So, yeah, I don't know where that is, boys. 
So what I'll do is I'll get a few more upgrades uh, for tomorrow's episode for the La Liga team of the season. And you never know, I might pack one of those blues. Who's going to be in the lineup anyway? A lot of people are saying Raphael Varane, De Jong, Messi. So it's still going to be a fairly good squad. Well, I hope so anyway. I really want Tomato to get either like a team of the season or some sort of SBC. And I will definitely do it with my fodder. But boys... Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's episode. Uh, tweet me your teams as well that you're going to be using for this weekend. And yeah, I hope you have made some really, really nice upgrades. But thank you for watching. Leave a like. 3-0 in the Weekend League. And I will see you tomorrow. Team out.